Hello, welcome back to the channel. I looked and I couldn't find the birthday cake beer, but I found something very interesting anyway. Another one from Dogfish Head. This one is Sea Quench Ale, Session Sour, Off-Centered Ales for Off-Centered People. This one is 4.9 alcohol by volume. And it is blissfully brewed with lime juice, lime peel, black limes, and sea salt. So this is really going to be an interesting looking beer. We've done, I believe we've done the two hearted ale on here before. And I did that because, well, Dr. Who, two hearts. Oh, I was going to do a regular beer glass, but we're going to do our homemade one with mermaid tears because it just fits the theme. And we'll just go ahead and crack into this. Take a look at the can. It's like basically the ship sunk. Okay. And hmm, I've never had a black line before, so this is going to be interesting. It's probably not black though. Let's see the color. Hmm, it's not even green. Okay, this is interesting. And I'm pouring it a little too quickly because we've got too much of a head on this. And let's see, where is dogfish? I forget, I've told you before. And bring up the reading glasses. Yeah, a gentleman at the store I work at, I was trying to find the birthday cake, so I was looking for Wisconsin beers. And I, I was going to get this one, he said, that's a Wisconsin beer. And no, he's wrong. It is not a Wisconsin beer, because we've had dog fish before. That's why I wanted to get the birthday cake one, because it's a local. This one, again, was... Milton? Milton, Delaware. So, yeah. So, not a Wisconsin beer. Not regional. It's closer to where I used to live in Maryland a long time ago than it is either here or New Mexico. It's got a nice lime nose to it. You can taste the sea salt straight up front. And the lime, but with all the lime it's got in it, you would think it would be stronger. I'm not quite sure what difference black lime is supposed to make. Except for the fact that it's not as tart as usual. You can taste I can taste the lime, but it's not as sour. So maybe that's where the black lime comes in. It's definitely not a lime and salt margarita type drink. It's definitely, you've got the lime and the salt, but it's very, very sea salt forward, and the lime is there, and it mi mixes well with the salt, but I'm getting more, the, the salt is more forward. And it's not as face puckeringly sour as other sours I've had. 
Some sours are pleasant. Some you just go, Ugh. This is one of the more pleasant sours. And again, it's Session IPA, or Session Ale, rather. I'm sorry, Session Sour, correction, which means it's Session, which I guess means you can drink more of them. Because it's a lower ABV. Um, let's see. What else have we got coming up? I've got... I believe, unless I've already uploaded it, I've got a uh, Tea in Pajamas Tea Review for Brutality Lime Inch Nails. So this came at right at the right time. And I think I've already uploaded... I may... Did I upload... I'm, I uploaded the Curious Core Trading Company Soap. I'm trying to remember if I uploaded the Twinkle Boutique Boutique one yet, so I may I may have that one ready to upload if I haven't already, and a team pajamas. So I at least have one, maybe two videos ahead of this one that I need to put up, and then I'll put this one up. So there's a couple videos possibly that I still need to upload. Um, hauls, nothing right now. Um. I'm hoping Halloween comes out. I did post a picture on Facebook of a, a pirate costume that came out on the floor, but it went back to the back room because I guess it wasn't time yet. Walmart always does harvest before Halloween. So, although the n Nightmare Before Christmas pajamas have already come out. So, I will try to see what I can get in the way of Halloween as soon as possible. Again, it's going to be a bit limited. Um, the owner of Gathered Roots, a high-end coffee and coffee ice cream and chocolate shop that also has boutique purses and items of clothing, is talking about Halloween costumes. Granted, they'll probably be out of my price range, but maybe I can find something that I can afford. I will, tr I will have to try and catch a cab there, or maybe get my sister-in-law to take me again next time. Next time I have money. But it will be interesting to see what she gets. So, she is a possibility. Walmart definitely. Target soon. I do miss going to Ross and Kohl's and all of those other ones, but I may have to do do some of those online. And I had I'll have to, I will try to check the at home uh, website to see if they have something there. Maybe Steinmart as well. We're gonna have to do a lot more online shopping. And again, because this is a smaller space, actually it's technically though. It is just, it's base. it's, I think it might be close in size to my old place. It's just that there's no laundry room and there's only one bedroom. So it's two rooms short. I think it's two rooms short of what I was at before. So, um, I can't do quite as much with this. I do have some blank space. I have the bedroom walls. I haven't hung anything there, but I don't want to put too many nail holes. And the bathroom, I can't do a whole lot, but I can still get some more towels and wash the cloth. So I think I'm going to try and this year is going to be, I think, be the year of, like I said, more practical things because the over-the-top stuff that I had, I don't have anymore, and I'm going to wait considering the type of the people I may have moving me if when we can finally get a house. I don't totally trust them with large amounts of stuff anymore either, so I'm going to try and keep it small 
so that way nothing goes missing again or left but gets left behind. So we're gonna try we're gonna keep it small. And again, there are a lot of stores that have things out, but right now because I have no transportation other than a cab, I am a lot more limited to what I can get, so unfortunately that kind of changes things a bit. So stay tuned, I will get what I can and keep this going. Well, um, this is going to be a short review. It's been a long week. We, um, the air show wrapped up yesterday, the EAA. Uh, I'm tired, I am burnt out, and I'm just ready to relax for the next couple of days. I will do another Team Pajamas. Um, I have one more Brutalities that I haven't um, done a first impressions of yet. And then there are a couple that I haven't shared with you on this channel. So be looking forward to those. We've got Lychee Trick coming up. And then um, I've already done Cherry, Banana Bell. I think I've done them all. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Lychee, I haven't done Lychee Trick yet. I've uh, done pretty, I've done Banana Bell. I've done um, I've got Lime Inch Nails coming up. We've done Rocky Road Picture Show, French Toast Buster, which is gone. I've already used that one up. So I definitely have one for sure that I haven't done a first impression of, and there might be one that we haven't done on here on Team Pajamas. So be looking forward to those, and I'm going to, I'm going to let you guys go. But first, again, we will wrap this up in a nice little ball of wibbly wobbly stuff and again dogfish head sequench ale session session sour 4.98 alcohol by volume it is it's very sessionable it's um not the most sour 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 i've had if that makes any sense it's pretty it's smooth the lime and the salt pair well together it's it's tart, but it's not as sour as I thought it would be. So it's not not the most sour that I've had out of all the sours we've tried. So it's smooth. It's tart without being face puckeringly sour. The lime and the salt mix very well together. It's very sessionable, and I think you will enjoy it. It's a nice summer beer. Get it while you can, if you have it in your area. And... Um... Give some love to your craft beers, your local beers in your area, as well as your small businesses and your local crafters in your area as well. So try to shop local as much as you can, be it alcohol or home decor and or accessories, clothing, etc. Let's help them out. Uh, I'm gonna let, um, again, if you like the channel, uh, please subscribe. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, you can give me a thumbs down or you can just not give me anything at all. Keep the comments polite. And um, again, don't track and drive. Take turns driving the hearse and we'll see you guys next time. I love you. Bye.